Hi everybody. Good morning. It's Dawn Michelle from Tranquility Within. How are you all doing today? Thank you for joining me. This is my third video, um, which happened accidentally, but I'm happy that we're doing it. Today I thought we would talk about um, fear because I think in this situation right now, uh, a lot of people are experiencing fear. So I've been thinking about what I want to talk to you about today and Honestly, it's so much stuff. Um, so I'm going to try to limit it to three topics. I'm going to try to just do like a little brief intro about each one so that this video is not too long. Um, so I just want to um, let you know that um, you can comment below the video. You can hit the hearts and the, the thumbs up to let me know that you're here. Um, I saw Lisa come on, so hi. Good morning. And... Um, I guess let's get started. So I believe that fear comes from your thoughts. Um, you feel it in your body when you think it in your mind. So the best idea would be to not think um, negative thoughts or fearful thoughts. Now how do you do that? It sounds so easy but it's 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 kind of tough especially when you're in it when you've been doing it for a while it's kind of hard to get out of it so I have three ideas I'd like to share with you um, the first one is called mindfulness now I'm not any kind of expert in mindfulness but I like the idea of it the idea is you're safe in the now so if you're really feeling very stressed out very anxious it's a great technique you kind of just sit where you are and you go I have if you're inside you'd say I have four walls around me I have a ceiling I have a floor, I have a chair, there's a plant, and you focus on the now. And you focus on it, the idea is to say, I'm safe right now. A lot of fear is about projections of the future. So if you can just get a handle on where you are right now, be mindful of where you are right now and how safe you are and how much there is to appreciate, you should find your fear lessening. The other idea is to simply limit the things that cause you to feel fear. So if you're watching a lot of news right now um, and it's making you fearful, which is understandable, don't watch so much news. You know, turn it off or watch something that makes you um, feel good. Go for a walk. You know, those are also great techniques to not have fear. Um, me personally, I just want to say good morning to some people. Good morning, April. Good morning, Auntie Jay. Allie, Allison, how are you guys doing? Thanks for joining me. Um, this is so much more fun when I when I know that people are actually watching. I know a lot of people watch it later, but it's kind of fun when you watch it live as well. All right, so let me talk about the other topic. Now, this one's sort of a bigger issue, um, and it can be like a touchy topic, so I'm a little nervous about talking about it, but I'm going to go ahead because it's so important for me in my life. Um, and that's the topic of faith. So many of you know, um, I have um, stage four uh, breast cancer. Um, I've been in treatment since June, so it's almost a year now. Um, I've had cancer for three and a half years. Um, and I use faith as my tool to know that I'm gonna be okay. Um, not everybody uh, believes in a higher power, um, and that's fine. You know, I'm not here to t tell you what to believe, what not to believe. But if you do have that faith in a higher power, it's a very easy way to not feel fear. fear. So I have this little analogy I was thinking about. And I feel like we are drops of water in the ocean. Now, if you're a drop of water in the ocean um, and you try to direct the current of the ocean or try to control the tide, Right, you wouldn't be able to do it. And you would just feel anxiety and stress trying to control that which you cannot control. So if you believe in a higher power, it's this act of like surrendering and just allowing spirit, God, whatever you wanna call this higher power, um, allowing this higher power to just be in charge and control it and know that you're gonna be okay. And that's what I do. Um, I just leave it all to God. I, I do what I can to take care of myself. I think it's a two-way street. I think there are two components to it. But one is allowing and surrendering and trusting. 
the other part of that is that you need to be in a high vibration for it to really kind of work. If I sat around all day and I was extremely depressed or sad or scared, I, I don't think my health would be as good as it is. So even though I believe that God has my back, I believe I have to do my part and raise my vibration and be happy um, and allow these blessings into my life. And I think these blessings come into your life um, as you're happier. All right, let me just take a breath. Hi, Lisa. <sighs> so I kind of feel like I rushed through that, but it's such a big topic. I could talk all day about it. Um, so hopefully that, that made some sense. So I feel like a great way to alleviate fear is to let go, right? So you can acknowledge your fear and then hopefully let go of your fear and move on and do something that makes you happy. Um, now the, the other technique that I want to talk about today, um, I feel like I'll spend a little more time on it and it's called tapping or EFT, which stands for emotional freedom technique. I learned this technique uh, I don't know, somewhere around like 10 years ago um, and I used to use it in my last job um, as a way to lower my stress. The great thing about this technique is that it works so fast, so instantly, and you could do it anywhere. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to tap with you and then there are more resources I can turn you over to um, where you can, you know, learn everything you could ever want to learn about it. And we also offer a tapping class at Tranquility within once a month, once once we get opened again. <sighs> okay, so tapping involves um, t uh, tapping on eight pressure points and saying words to accompany them. So I'm gonna show you the pressure points first and then I'm gonna kind of walk you through a tapping and see uh, how it goes. All right, so the first one is on the side of your hand, okay? You tap on the side of your hand and when you do that, you say you have a setup statement, which I'm gonna go through in a minute. Now, the next point, I can't really show you with my glasses on, so I think I'm just gonna take my glasses off. <laughs> I won't be able to see any of you or any of your comments um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so the second tapping point is right where my glasses were okay it's right on the side you know where you'd have your little wrinkles it's right there okay the next one is under your eyes and then it's under your nose and this one is not quite your chin but it's under your lip okay like kind of at the top of your chin the next one is one inch below your collarbone collarbone okay this is my favorite one and then this one, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it's like about one handful up on your side. It's kind of where a woman would wear her, have her bra strap. And you tap on that. And if you want, you can just do one side or you can switch and you can do the other side. And the last one is on the top of your head, okay? So those are the eight points. And the idea is um, you'd want to sort of, what I used to do is I would gauge my stress from zero to 10 and be like, where am I right now? And in my situation, I was always a 10. Um, I used to go into the bathroom at work and, and sit in a stall and I would tap and I would say everything you know in my mind instead of out loud. Um, and it would really help because I would go in there feeling like, I'm gonna quit my job, I can't take it anymore, I'm a 10. And before you know it, I was walking out and maybe I was only a seven but it was enough to go back to my desk and work and get through the day. Okay, so I'm gonna, you can be as specific as you want with tapping. You can use it for anything that's bothering you. I'm gonna just do like a generic one. Um, and then just to try to show you how this works, okay? All right, so I'm gonna tap on the idea of stress. And what you always do is you start on the side of your hand and you do a setup statement. And it goes something like this. Even though I'm feeling a ton of stress, I love myself utterly and completely. So the idea is to allow yourself to feel what you're feeling and accept it and, you know, um, love yourself even for whatever you're feeling or doing. It's always important to love yourself. That's the most important thing. Okay, so let's get started. So you can um, just watch me. You could try to tap with me, um, whatever you want. All right. Even though... I'm feeling a ton of stress right now. I love myself utterly and completely. Oh my God, this stress is so overwhelming. I can't take it. I just need a break. Everything in my body is hurting me. I just can't deal with this. I'm scared. 
I don't know what to do right now. I feel terrible. If the stress doesn't get better, I'm going to lose it. Oh, I just can't deal with the stress anymore. Oh, the stress is driving me crazy. And that's one, one, what do you call it? Oh, I'm losing the word. Okay, anyway, deep breath. Ah. <sighs> That was one cycle, that's the word. Um, and then you should feel a little bit better and then we'll do it again. Even though I'm feeling anxiety in my body, I love myself utterly and completely. Oh, I'm looking forward to feeling better. I need to let go of this stress. I'm holding this in my body. Oh, the news is driving me crazy. I need to let go of what's bothering me. Oh, this news and this epidemic is driving me crazy. I'm feeling so much fear. Oh, I just want to let go of this right now. Deep breath. Okay, I'm going to do one last cycle. Even though I'm feeling stress in my body, I love myself utterly and completely. The stress is bothering me. I can let go of this stress. I can move on. I can stop watching things that bother me. I can allow this stress to leave my body. I am strong and I can think about other things. I don't need this stress. I am feeling better. I don't need this. I'm letting go of the stress in my body. <sighs> All right, let me just grab my glasses. Hold on. Okay, so um, <laughs> good morning, I'm Michelle. Um, okay, so the idea is that you do that. I did it three times and um, you know, then I would sort of, maybe I would do it a little bit more if I wasn't making a video right now. And the idea is that when you're done, you should feel better. And if you don't, keep tapping, keep tapping. And um, it was only three cycles there, but the idea is that you're really starting with all this stress and emotion. And hopefully by the time you're done, you're able to say like happier, you know, more uplifting things. And hopefully you do feel better. So um, there's a book that we sell um, and it's called The Tapping Solution. And it's written by Nick Ortner and his sister Jessica has also written, they've both written a bunch of books on the topic. Um, they really know what they're doing. You can go to YouTube and you can search out The Tapping Solution and they'll teach you, you know, from soup to nuts how to do um, tapping. And they even have like um, guided ones like to tell like this one, like on this topic, this one's on that topic. Um, so it's a great resource and I highly recommend you try it. And uh, like I said in the beginning, you know, I really feel that, you know, well, I've said this in other videos, you know, we have this time right now, this time of isolation to, um, to do a lot of self work and to just enjoy and be happy and appreciate it. I mean, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm really loving it. I love not having to do anything. I love not working. I love my kids not having to go anywhere um, and I'm really enjoying it and I'm taking it easy and I'm enjoying that. And if you're not enjoying it, um, you might be feeling fear and anxiety and I suggest that you try one of the techniques I talked about. Um, of course, there's, there's I'm sure many, many, many more. Those are the ones I'm most familiar, familiar with and the ones that I've used in my life. Um, I use the tapping when I'm really like highly stressed when I think I'm gonna kill one of my children right now or something like this. Um, and then faith is something that I use every day, all the time. And it's what, it, it's what keeps me smiling, it's what keeps me happy. I know that I'm being taken care of and that my work is to focus my thoughts onto happy things. Ah, hi Rebecca. All right, well that's the bulk of really what I wanted to talk about today. I think I feel like I squeezed a lot of stuff into a small amount of time, but I, I kind of want to make a quick video. Um, the idea of this is really just to tell you about our Saturday morning meditation, um, which our Anthony, who works up front at our counter, and uh, he does guardian angel readings, and he does our Sunday breathwork class. 
sweet, sweet soul. Um, he's recorded a video for us. Unfortunately, he didn't put himself on the camera, but I can understand why he didn't. Um, there's a link to this description of this video. You should be able to just click it. If for some reason you can't, go to YouTube, search for Anthony Franco, and this would be his most, maybe, I guess, his most recent video. And uh, I hope to do this, you know, every week until we open back up for business. Uh, we are open on Wednesdays from 11 to 2. Not really open, but we're doing a carryout service. If you're not familiar with our products and you're looking for something, you could send me an email, uh, dawn at tranquilitywithin.com. And my employee, Bunny, she's also helping me with this, and she's at info at tranquilitywithin.com. So feel free to reach out to us. Um, you know, it's kind of just something we're doing for our customers um, until we can open back up again. And... Um, I don't know. So please watch the meditation. Take care of yourselves. Be happy. Make the most of this opportunity. Um, be well. And uh, thanks for joining me. So bye, everybody. Have a great day. Mwah. Love you.